What's up people, in today's video we're going to be going over all the buffs and nerfs that have come in this new update with Rogue Company. We're going to go over the rogues, the weapons, the perks, and the gadgets, and all the buffs and nerfs that have come to those. If you want to get this information fast, make sure to go ahead and subscribe to the channel, become a member today, and let's go ahead and jump right into it, starting out with the rogue buffs and nerfs. So the first person that we're going to start with on this list is going to be Anvil. Anvil has received a pretty significant nerf. He no longer is immune to EMPs and slows. So that is going to be a big deal because now he is no longer a hard counter to Trench. Another thing to note, and this is going to be in the gadget portion, but there's also been a slight nerf to the C4. We'll talk about that a little bit when we get to gadgets, but thing to note as well for you Anvil mains. Now, moving down, we have Chalk. Chalk has received a significant buff. His ability duration has been increased from 7 seconds to 15 seconds, so more than double. That's going to be a big deal for you Chalk players. Also, his down health has increased uh, by 50, so he's going to be harder to kill when he's actually down on the ground rolling around. The next rogue we have here is going to be Ronin. Ronin has had Six Sense removed, and just to let you know, Six Sense is no longer in the game at all, and now she has Track Around. The same for Vi and Talon. They all no longer have six cents, has been replaced with tracker rounds. Another thing to note with Ronin, her ballistic knife has received a fair nerf. It has gone from dealing 125 damage to 100 damage. So now people with headstrong will not be one shot or Vi fully maxed out or anything over 100 will not be one shot unless they're hit directly. Last rogue here is going to be Glitch. Glitch now has Headstrong since Sixth Sense is no longer in the game. That means that he gets an additional 25 health when he takes this perk. That is going to make him a force to be reckoned with and make him a terror for you Ronin mains. Next, let's go ahead and talk about the weapon changes that has happened. Now, first thing to note is that the submachine guns have all had a buff to their range and also their ADS movement speed. So thing to note there, Chalk, Ronin, Scorch, Lancer, Glitch, Talon, Dahlia, all buffs to their guns across the board. So Chalk has gotten double buffs this time around. Very good for you Chalk players. Now, as we go down here, there's also been some changes to Scorch's A3 Salvo. So the fall off damage range has increased, meaning that she'll now be able to do more damage from further away. It hasn't increased by much, but one damage can make the difference, especially when talking about a burst weapon. I feel like this is a good time to go ahead and mention that pistols are getting a nerf overall. So they will no longer have unlimited ammo. Their damage will stay the same though, but now people can no longer just spray their secondary weapon and burst down anvil shields or any other type of equipment. Now let's go ahead and talk about gadgets. So thing to note about gadgets is that grenades have gotten a pretty decent nerf here. So basically their damage, especially the outer radius damage. So if you don't necessarily throw the grenade right on their feet has been reduced. So it's gone from 50 to 40 and the inner explosive radius has gone from three meters to 2.5. So you have to be more precise, more accurate with your grenade tosses in order to do big damage to people still. The incendiary grenade has received a slight buff. Basically now the fire will spread faster, meaning that it will deal damage faster. So it went from 0.5 seconds to spread to 0.25 seconds to spread. So not anything significant, but it will make a difference, I guess, in those very tough fights. Also, they fixed the issue where the uh, upgraded version didn't increase the duration and it now spreads 20% more. So it takes up more area. Overall, I think this is a good buff for the incendiary grenade. Now, C4 has received a significant nerf, in my opinion. So the max throw distance has been reduced from 17 meters to 13 meters. Also, level one upgrade throw distance has been reduced from 22 meters to 16 meters. And then the outer radius damage has been reduced from 60 to 40. Inner radius reduced from 3.25 meters to 3 meters. So overall, this has gotten a pretty good nerf here. And with the people running tenacity now, it is going to be very hard for you to get downs with the C4 as you used to. Maybe it'll be used more as a finishing tool now instead of something that actually knocks people out. 
So as far as the perks go, there's only been two that really had any type of change. That's Evade and Track Around. Sixth Sense, as I said earlier, is gone. So Evade has had its movement speed bonus increased from 10% to 12% and the duration is going to go from 7 seconds to 10 seconds. So overall, very small buff. It may not be something that you notice immediately, but it is a buff, so it does help. And lastly, we have tracker rounds. The reveal time increased from three seconds to four seconds. And I think that may bring it a little more in line. Maybe people will be more enticed to pick it up now, even though it's still 10K um, to buy it. So the last thing that I want to touch on are the bug fixes that they went ahead and took care of in this new update. So one of them is this shooting behind cover feature that people have been abusing. Apparently that is no longer something that people can do. So I have to really get in there and try it out. And people, if you know this glitch, make sure to try it now so you can send that feedback just in case it hasn't been fixed. And then the second thing, they fixed this uh, error where PC players would crash when they were playing cross-platform custom matches. So all good changes let me know what you guys think down in the comments do you think there are some changes that they missed uh, maybe some buffs or nerfs that were not deserved um, as always i want to hear your thoughts if you enjoyed this video make sure to drop a like subscribe for more daily roco content and we will see you tomorrow with another video peace 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 peace